Hello and happy Monday. Here I am again, rushing to the computer. Uh, I was in my designer creative mode and lost track of time. Let me shut the door. Okay. Oh, it is a Monday and my allergies are kicking up. I think I sniffed or not sniffed. Alton does the sniffing. I think I inhaled some uh, pollen tree grass or tree grass pollen at the park this morning. And my nose has not been happy ever since. Excuse me a moment. Hey Jack, welcome. Thank you for coming. Sorry I'm a minute or so late. Hope Donna's having a good day, even though she had to work. Uh, let's see, how am I doing? Doing good. We had a good weekend. It's kind of a project type weekend. Um, my van is having some electrical issues and where the battery drains. It's got a phantom leak somewhere. And so we tried hooking up a solar panel to keep it running or at least keep the battery from dying. And um, we don't think it's the battery or it's not like the starter or the alternator. It's nothing that huge. It could get fixed. It's a phantom leak. And the van is old enough that we don't really want to pay a lot of money to try to get it diagnosed or fixed. So, uh, yeah, now the solar panel solution seems to be failing. Uh, it did work for very uh, quite a few months. So Drew and his dad both, uh, well, his dad is an electrical engineer and um, Drew is a pretty techie guy who knows a lot about electronics. They're trying to figure out a different solution. And it will probably mean changing out some wiring and um, hooking it up to a regular charger, not using a solar panel solution. So we worked on that this weekend. Um, ran a couple errands, had to get some more dog food, you know, all the things. And thankfully it is slowly, slowly starting to get cooler here. So, um, oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Alton, I made a bed appointment for him because something's going on with him. I'm not sure what, nothing serious, major, but he's kind of being restless throughout the night and uh, that's disruptive for us, but also makes me worried for him. So we're gonna see, get some lab work done and, and see what's maybe going on. He does have some um, thyroid issues, uh, maybe borderline Cushing's disease. So um, we just gotta get the labs checked and see what we do, let's see what we do next. But now I'm going to go ahead and get to the question of the day or questions. Let's see here. Other than that, um, pretty good. Glad, glad it's almost September. Another month is almost done. Let's see here. Oh, who was your first celebrity crush? That's random. Uh, first celebrity crush. Well, let's see. I'll date myself here. I was born in 76. So I was definitely a child of the 80s. And uh, back then, I don't know if for previous generations, um, I don't think they're really a thing anymore with the internet. But in my era, you know, teen magazines were definitely a thing. So def not like 17 or Teen Vogue yet, but they had some... Um, I would call preteen type magazines that had a lot of um, celebrity crush type, you know, pinup kind of photo spreads and stories about celebrities at the time. Like um, I remember Michael J. Fox. I always had a crush on him. Um, Tom Cruise, although he was older at the time, I would say he was borderline, but I, I still thought he was cute, of course. Oh, Kurt Cameron, um, he was in this show called Growing Pains, 
he was definitely a, a teen heartthrob, uh, you'd call them. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I really crushed hard on anyone in specific. But, yeah, I do remember on my wall having posters of Michael J. Fox, um, Tom Cruise, because I had the top gun. Who else? I'm trying to think if there's anyone else. I would say Michael J. Fox was my most favorite. And I still, I've been watching um, Family Ties on Pluto. I've been loving the new Pluto TV app. It's free. We initially learned about it through uh, Google TV, which we have on our TV in the living room. But now you can just download the Pluto app and stream it. So I've been having a blast flipping through. um, There's two channels I watched. There's a dedicated Family Ties channel. And then there's another channel, like Sitcom Classics or something, that runs a loop of Frasier and Cheers and one other show. So, yeah. Kind of in my happy place there with those. I love retro television. Um, so, yeah. I'm curious to know, because I think I have people who watch this vi- watch these videos of lots of different... Uh, generations, like demographics, decades. So I'm curious about if you had any celebrity crushes, male or female, who may, might they have been? wonder if I have ever heard of them. So that's the one question here. I'll answer one more. Um, Jack, if you want to share it all, if you had any celebrity crushes, feel free. My, uh, oh, okay. Lost your audio. Well, if you can't hear me now, Just go ahead and watch the replay. Sorry you're having technical issues. I will say my sister, she was four years older than I was. She had a crush. She used to love to watch the show, um, The Monkees. So, you know, the the musical group, the British musical group. I always called them, I thought of them as like a a B version of the Beatles uh, called The Monkees. And she had a big crush on Davy Jones and Mickey Dolans, I remember. I never liked that show, but she loved that show. Okay. Um, Simple one, too. Super easy. Who is your favorite sports team? I mean, come on. Y'all around here for a minute. You know, I love the Giants. Um, Didn't really know the Giants or watch them before I moved to San Francisco, but definitely became a fan. I got to experience the trifecta dynasty where they won world series in 12 in 10 12 and 14 i can't believe it seems like so long ago uh but still watch and in fact they won last night and so we're going to rewatch. we didn't watch the game yesterday live we have a major league baseball subscription and so we watch um in replay a lot um so that's very strange. Was the audio ever working? Drew, I'm assuming you can hear me because you're responding. That's, uh, if you want to leave Jack and try to come back in, I'll be here for a few more minutes. Otherwise, I hope it'll be working on the replay. Uh, try to see if you have a your mute button pressed. Very strange. Uh, yes, go Giants. So that is definitely my favorite sports team. Although, you know, I'm kind of a, I call myself a bandwagon uh, 49er fan. I watch them when they're winning and don't really care when they're not. So, uh, like them. Um, and don't really follow basketball at all. Even when the Warriors are in the playoffs. Uh, we don't make a point to watch. Um, so, yeah, that's my favorite sports team. And I will go ahead and answer one more. And then I think sometime this week, I will go ahead and refill my question jar. Okay, here we go. What board game do you like the most? Well, that's a fitting one because um, I do like to play games. I'm a competitive person. 
thankfully so is Drew. We have that in common. We like to play a lot of games together. And I would say my favorite board game. Now I have to wonder and say, technically, there there's one game I'm thinking of that takes does use a board, but it also uses playing cards. So I think, but I think when you think of most board games, they're like dice games. So the one I'm thinking of initially is cribbage. You technically do need to use a cribbage board to mark your, I think it's pegs. Is that right, Drew? Pegging? Uh, but you play it using playing cards. So I love cribbage. My dad taught me how to play it. And then so did my grandma, his mom. And so it's a very, uh, I think it's a fun game, but also very nostalgic for me. And Drew likes playing it too. So I think we even just played a game, uh, a couple, couple week, couple weekends ago. What happened to your wedding favor? I don't know what you're talking about, Drew. Gotta give me a hint. Wedding favor. Oh, okay. He's thinking of Scrabble. Yes. We had a part of our uh, wedding reception theme. We used, um, we made place markers using Scrabble tiles. And if I remember, I'll put up a, a picture one in the thumbnail of this video. Mine is here in the office, but it's up high where I can't get to it right now. So it says like Jody Y and Andrew says Andrew Y. And then we spelled out everybody's first name with their first last initial. I think we did that. Maybe we just did first names for them um, on little tile uh, boards that we bought on like eBay or something with the tiles. And that was their place markers because I really wanted to have assigned seating. I'm kind of a control freak that way. And I wanted to do a little social engineering of where people are going to sit for the reception. So, yes, we do love Scrabble and we still play Scrabble. We took it with us on vacation. Uh, what else? And then, so yeah, cribbage, Scrabble. Uh, I like Trivia Pursuit, although I'm pretty bad at it. Uh, Andrew beats me all the time. Um, what else? When I was growing up, we used to play the classics like Sorry. And by the way, sorry if you can hear that noise. The vacuum is emptying itself. And I don't know if you can pick up that audio. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Backgammon. Love backgammon, too. My dad taught me how to play backgammon. That definitely does require a board. It's a... Uh, I don't know how you describe it really, but you have dice, you shake, and then you try to get all your little men back to their home base uh, before the other guy. So love backgammon. But I was thinking of when I was a kid, you know, we used to play um, Monopoly, Sorry. Um, they didn't really like Life or Shoots and Ladders. Um, what else? I'm sure there's some that I'm forgetting. But yeah, games are fun. Uh, we don't really live in a place right now where we have a friend circle where we can have regular game nights. But it's something that I would love for the future. Uh, either that we can develop kind of uh, more in the next phase of our life. Or if we move, uh, I would really love to cultivate that. Because I just think it's fun. You, know, We tried for a long time to get a poker night together but it just didn't happen it was really hard to get enough people who were serious about actually playing to come and uh okay i understand jack sorry you're having audio problems i hope it'll work out okay on the replay um and then maybe you and donna can watch at the same time um i'm gonna wrap up here soon anyway <laughs> I should probably type to you in case you can't hear it. Can I talk and type at the same time? Let's see. Not it's not looking good. I have to focus.
But yeah, um, as for the rest of the week, I'm pretty excited because we're going to see Beyonce on Wednesday. That is going to be a really fun concert. Um, and what else? Um, and otherwise, just uh, back to my computer, working on more designs. I still have a goal to get this e-commerce shop set up soon. I mean, I wanted by the end of August, but, you know, classic me. I set an expectation, which is typically unrealistic. But uh, I'm going to keep working on it until I get it up. And my, I'm kind of doing it where I'm making all the designs first. And then I'll get them all uploaded. And then I'll do all the like product descriptions and all that stuff. Finish tweaking the site. And then um, go live. So hopefully now by the end of September. Uh, at any rate, just in, definitely in time for the holidays to uh, be able to get some of your early holiday shopping done. So at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you caught it live or on the replay, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you um, next week, if not before. And I will try to get at least one or two videos edited. Um, I know I say that every week now, but uh, there's just so many hours in the day. And uh, I do have a board meeting this week and some other responsibilities to juggle. So. Just doing the best I can, but I appreciate y'all hanging with me, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great week. Say hi in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going there, and um, bye for now.